Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at uh, Baja Acres in Millington, Michigan. It is the 30th of October. We're gonna do some racing. It's kind of sloppy out. I'm here with Luke. Uh, Lucas, what's up? This is his first race. You excited, man? Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. I'm pretty proud of you, man, for getting out here. He went and got his AMA and his D14 registration last night, so we're, uh, we already got a transponder, and so then we're gonna uh, register and then go suit up so we can do practice. We'll go from there, so stay tuned. We got some GoPro coming. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell that we can come on back and check us out. Don't forget to smash the like button. Always appreciate that. See you in a bit. All right, guys. Whoa, just wait for uh, my number to come up. Should be uh, the next practice moto. She's starting up good, restarting good when she's warm so far. But I uh, got the transponder on the bike. That's for lap times. Lap times and how many laps, I keep track of that. Lucas is getting his stuff all ready to go. Say hi, Rachel. Hi. hi. <laughs> so we're putting the number on his bike when we're done uh, with the first practice moto. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. So not sure if I'm gonna get video of the practice moto. I kind of want to, but I don't know. Maybe I will, so I don't know. Still haven't decided yet, so all right, stay tuned. They said it's kind of slick. Yeah, those look pretty intimidating. Once you're out there, though, it's totally different. I think the ones over there are going to be like... You worry about the tabletop. What's that? The tabletops I'm not worried about. No. Oh, yeah. Here comes the thunder. <laughs> yeah, I'm down to go this one. Yeah, I'm this side, right? Yeah. I was getting excited. I was like, let's go! But you can turn it on in the top though? If you just push this button, it turns right on. Oh, dude. You push it again, it turns it off. What one is that? The nine. Oh, is it? Nice. Yeah. That's the seven. I have a eight, I had a seven, an eight, and a nine. I lost the seven in the woods. The eight. Oh. Or no. Yeah, this is the eight. Oh, okay. And then I have the nines even smaller than this one. Right. Yeah, maybe there's a piece of sand or something in there. That'll maybe. do it. Cool, what's your name? Anthony. I'm Andrew. Nice to meet you. Yep, this is Lucas. Lucas? Yep, Anthony. Nice to meet you. Yep. This is my buddy Jeff. What's up, Jeff? Boom. Jeff and Anthony. Good deal. Jeff and Anthony. Alright. What are you guys riding? Yeah. He's got a four. Mine's an 06. This is a 13. Yeah. It's a rock in the old bike. Carbureted, baby. That's an 08, man. Nice. <laughs> yep. It just looks better. <laughs> yeah, right? That's nice. Yeah, that's sharp. I like it. 
08, man. They say it was one of the best years they made the 450R. So. Yeah, that's what I was reading online because I put it, I rebuilt my head, and everybody said that if you're gonna put a new cam in it, don't even bother with the stage one. Get, get the 08. Get an 08. Yeah. In there, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they fixed all those little things. It's pretty much the same engine, but like everything's fixed in it. Oh man. It yeah. I've never had a problem with that. I've had three or two of these bikes now. Right. It works great. Yeah, mine. I just have problems dialing mine in. So. <laughs> So, good deal, man. Oh man, you got a good tire. Yeah, I figured, <laughs> yep. guys the practice I ended up ripping my stinking radiator shroud off bent up my radiator support and my radiator but I was able to get it all put it back together so I did one lap on my vet sport because I stalled and just was a bear to get started so I just did the lap and called it a day so I'm gonna try open C now, see how that goes. Go from there, I guess. It is really muddy today.
I did one lap. What happened? I stalled in the turn before the, the uh, once you built that first hill, I stalled because I had it in third and I did feather it enough. And, yeah, so finally got it started. <laughs> And I was like, all right. <laughs> so we'll give it a go this round, see what happens. Right, yeah, it is, man. You're right. 100%. Well, here we are. I don't know if I have this on right or not. Leave it on. Just wait. Yeah. This right here is going to get bad. Is it? I think I had dirt worlds here. Oh, hey, you Ready, guys. Bro? What? That looks sweet, bro. It's, these are these ones are glow in the dark. Oh, yeah. that's badass. I gotta get some more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order windbreakers. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like sweet, dude. I like it. Yeah, they're like, it's a champion like windbreaker, too, so they're like, it's pretty nice. The good stuff. Good Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. They're behind me. Super <laughs> <Right. laughs> yeah, This is the open seat. Yeah. I'm 16, he said. Fox is out there to chow down. 16? That's what he said. 16 plus? No, he so said I was number 16. Oh, you're supposed to get on spot 16. Yeah. Everywhere. Hey, what number were you? Yeah. Oh, you're 50. You're behind him then. Here's the ultimate. 2021, Igor. Yes, it's a graveyard spot. Okay. All right. Huh? You like this? Sure. It's pretty safe. <laughs> I mean, you don't have like a bad rut coming out, so. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me see what I can, let me see what I can do with this. All right. Oh my gosh. It's like straight up mortar. I know, it's like, it's starting to get tight now, like... I don't know, I hooked on, I hooked coming out of the gate. Yeah? Dude, I'm putting on wheelie to the race. Alright, thank you, sir. I'm gonna go get some Logan's goggles after that. Alright. Uh, there's only 28 of you. A little less carnage. Yeah. 30, 30 plus BC is first drop, open C is second. Wait, copy that? Copy that. 30 BC first. Two drop, BC first, open C second. Thank you. So, where's the safest place to pull a tear off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. All right.
the aftermath of uh, me having to pull out of my spot. That is what it is. You got out. All right, guys. As you can see, it was pretty, uh, pretty sloppy. And here they go. This is uh, that's I think that's vet support. This track is tough though, <coughs> especially when you got caustic chondritis. Yeah, there's Tom right there. Get it, buddy. I don't see. John. I don't know if John did vets for it. I don't even know if he's old enough. Alright, so. Oh, yeah, it was a uh, fun time. I mean, it's just rough. Rough to the max. So, I went down a few times. Not that big of a deal, but, you know, when you got inflamed. I think it just, I mean, I still had a little bit of the caustic chondritis in the front, but uh, yeah, it just got inflamed because of me going down a couple times. And uh, yeah. I had a hard, I mean, I barely got the bike up in the back of the truck, so. Yep, I'm gonna close it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this was uh, Baja Acres out in Millington, Michigan. It's funny, it's, some guys just make it look so easy. It's crazy. But then again, there was rain and stuff, so that made it even more challenging. <clears throat> but it was a good time. Um, I didn't make it out of. I didn't even make it on the track when uh, during practice, because I went down behind Lucas, and it just ripped my, basically ripped the shroud up, the the left radiator shroud off, and then uh, bent the the radiator back. It buckled the radiator brace. And uh, yeah, but the cool thing was, is I was able to um, repair it and I had to do, you know, some pounding and cranking and banging, but <laughs> got it back together. <clears throat> and before I put it back together, I plugged the two holes and blew in the one of the radiator and it felt like it was compressing. So like there weren't any holes or anything. And what I did find was that there were two, one of the hoses popped off, and then, sorry, it's really bumpy right here. And two of them had little rips in them. And so they were so close to the end there that I was able to just cut that stuff out of the way and uh, end up putting that stuff back on and yeah filled it up with luckily uh, Lucas had some coolant so thanks buddy and uh, I was able to fill it up with coolant I heated it up let it sit there and heated it up for a little while get it nice and hot didn't want any more leaks it was still steaming a bit but that was because coolant got on the header wrap and so still burning that stuff or cooking steaming that stuff off so but uh yeah and then uh so i was able to get out on in the uh first vets border they call it vet c moto but i only got one lap in and i just was like i'm done i uh i stalled it on one of the turns and just had a hard time getting it started again and so um yeah, by the end of that, I was uh, pretty beat, and there were other people going in for the, they're throwing the checkered flag, and I was like, I'm just going to, 
was pretty tired at that point. Um, I only got like four and a half hours of sleep. So then on the next moto, which was the open sea, um, I went down, I think a couple times, but the one time was the first, was the same exact spot where I went down on practice. And so before the track. So when I went down there, that was because there was two guys that wrecked in front of me and I was trying to go around them and I just, yeah, just it wasn't happening. So I didn't hit them, but I went down, but the bike stayed running. So I picked the bike up real quick and it took off. And then another time was in a turn. But, and then uh, on my third lap, I got flagged. I got flagged down and they told me to just go ahead and get off the track because of the small bikes being out. And when I did that, I ended up stalling the bike and it almost fell over. And when I was grabbing it to bring it back up, yeah, it just, between the falls and that, it just puts so much inflammation back into those intercostal muscles that I'm just sore, I called it a day. I know my limits, I'm not gonna push myself past that. It's not worth it. 44 years old. So that is the summary of the day. Now maybe it's 3.30 and I'm going back home and chill out for the rest of the day. Let my muscles rest. <laughs> so, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. So come on back. You guys take care, stay safe. Thank you.